A deep and living experience, March 30th. We cannot honor the Lord when we are careless and indifferent. We must be in earnest to secure our own soul's salvation and to save others. All importance should be attached to this and everything else should be considered as a secondary. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3. On the screen, you would see it in the King James Version, uh, but I'm going to read for you uh, the RSV. It says, How shall we escape if we neglect such a great uh, salvation? It was declared at first uh, by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard Him. Understand that this question is a very important question. How shall we escape? How shall we escape a hell of fire? How shall we escape eternal death? How shall we escape everlasting condemnation? If we neglect so great a salvation. What salvation? If we neglect the blood of Jesus Christ to cover us. If we can look and see what Christ went through as an atoning sacrifice for our sins, if we can look and see the crown of thorns through our spiritual eyes on the head of the Messiah, we look on his side and we see the pierce uh, side. We see the nail prints in his hands. We hear him declaring it is finished. Uh, then how could God save us when we reject that sacrifice? That's a question that God himself can ask, answer. Uh, for God would have already made the way uh, so that we can receive your everlasting life uh, through his son. But the question is, how shall we escape if we neglect such great a salvation? Understand uh, that this great salvation is available to you. It is available to me. How could we accept it without neglecting it? Simply ask the Lord for his grace and mercy. Ask him to come into your life and let him bring about salvation within you. Why not let's trust uh, his word uh, today. Let us ask God for a sense of commitment and a sense of urgency as we accept the blood of Jesus Christ uh, to wash our sins away. That's the power of his word. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the offer of salvation. We accept the offer of salvation. We accept the atoning sacrifice made on Calvary. We accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Keep us faithful in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. Get ready for your miracle. Oh, yeah.